make sure I hold on to my tripod. Welcome to what might be the coolest place I have ever had the opportunity to photograph. We are in Hanksville, Utah. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. It is absolutely whipping. I'm set up for a panoramic, of course, a panoramic composition behind me. Just focusing on the bottom of the butte where we have that really nice texture. It has this really nice slate blue color. And as the sun is starting to get lower on the horizon, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon, we're starting to get some really nice shadow on those taller edges, which will give us a ton of really nice contrast. So I'm put on the 400 millimeter lens with a polarizer, which will cut some of that glare off of the shinier rock surfaces. And I'm just waiting for the wind to calm down a little bit because at 400 millimeters, even though I'm at one two thousandth of a second, there's still going to be shake. Any amount of wind is going to shake it. And I want this to be perfectly sharp. So I'm going to wait for a pause and then I'm going to shoot five or six images left to right. I've got my tripod nice and level. It's just a matter of waiting to get that nice calm wind and then we'll capture the image. So what I'm doing while I wait for the wind to stop is I zoom into the highest magnification possible and then I just watch and make sure that even when the wind slows down, you have to wait for the vibration to stop. So once at fully magnification, it looks clean. That's when I snap the image with my shutter release. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, come on, one more, one more, one more. I'll be your uncle. I might have lied, I want a couple more. Come on. Right there. All right, let me check the sharpness real quick. Yeah. Can't whine about that, I'll take that all day. So we did get a brief moment where there was no wind, but even when it's completely calm, there's heat coming off the butte itself. So there is a little bit of softness. If you zoom in hundred percent, I'm okay with that because we shot a pano, six images. Uh, it's going to be plenty of resolution for this type of an image. I think even with that little bit of heat distortion, it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous image. I'm just waiting for the wind to calm down. I want to do one more safety pass just in case there are any areas that don't perfectly overlap. I checked in the camera, but that's always the most devastating thing when you just miss an edge and it doesn't uh, properly align to merge. So I want to do one more pass just to make sure I absolutely got the shot. But if I didn't completely blow it, here's the image. What drew me to this scene originally was the color contrast between these cool blue slate walls and these beautiful vertical lines of orange boulders rolling down the side of the hill, almost like flowing water. And I wanted to emphasize this. So in post, I reduced my blue tones and increased my orange tones, bringing them to the same level, giving me that beautiful color contrast and balance that I was looking for. Okay, you'll have to forgive me, I'm out of breath. I got about halfway out here and realized my pack felt pretty light. And then, because my camera wasn't in it, and neither were my lenses, so walked halfway out here with an empty ruck, had to go all the way back, come back, running out of daylight, so I made it. <laughs> but it is now 4.57, and I told my buddy I'd be back at the truck by 5, and I'm about 40 minutes from the truck, so I think it's going to be close. But I have the keys, so I think, I think we'll be okay. The composition I have behind me is exactly what I was looking for, and I looked everywhere to find it. We've got these nice, huge orange boulders with a beautiful leading line going straight up the butte. And then all the way down the butte, you're gonna see rocks, debris in that same orange color. And then as the sun's getting lower, we have these beautiful um, warm highlights and these nice cool shadows. So it's gonna be a really, really nice high contrast image. I might convert it to black and white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot it and then um, I'm gonna po uh, process both in color and black and white. You can let me know which one you prefer. But for now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna focus in a horizontal, uh, horizontal orientation on the bottom, and then I'm going to shoot at about 30 millimeters. So at F16, 
focused here should be about infinity and then I'm gonna pan up. So it's essentially going to be a vertical pano, but I'm going to crop it to a vertical either two to one or um, 16 by nine composition so that we can get all the way from the bottom all the way to the top, catching these really nice shadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up because I really am running very late, but uh, I think this is gonna be a great shot. really hope you don't go tumbling down the hill because I have that at the edge of a very steep, a very steep edge and I really don't want to climb down there to get it. So hope this wind will calm down. So I am using a nodal slide here because the subject is so far away, I probably don't have to, but because I'm using an L bracket. Oh no, no, shit, you oh! You dead? Oh, you suck. Ugh. So as I was saying, I'm using my nodal slide, not really for the features of a nodal slide, but because um, I'm using an L bracket and the orientation of my pan head um, wouldn't be correct. So I'm using a nodal slide to offset. So that's what that's for. Let me go ahead and get this shot before you depart again. Quick shout out to iPhone. You just went flying off a cliff. Didn't even stop recording. All right. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Good boy. The sun has just gone behind a little cloud, so we've got some really nice dispersed light. I'll try and capitalize on that. Just one more. I'm gonna call it quits. I think it's as good as it's gonna get. The light is perfect right now. As much as I would love to wait for this light to get even lower, to give me even more shadow, I gotta go. Um, told them we would go find a sunset location and hopefully an astro location. So if I make it back in time and he doesn't hate me, stay tuned for the next couple of videos <laughs> because we'll be doing sunset and astro. Um, other than that, hopefully the image doesn't suck. Here it is. This scene should have worked. <laughs> Everything that you would want in an image is here. I have beautiful light, excellent color contrast, and a really strong subject. I love these leading lines converging right around these three boulders in the center, and I think it makes a very compelling image. However, the area behind the subject also commands too much attention, and I think I was rushing and didn't realize this right away because Really what I should have done was zoomed in with a telephoto lens and shot just this bottom portion because that was the subject and that's what really drew me to the image. So standing there, I think I was moving too quickly and just tried to cram everything in the scene all into one image. And although all the elements are there, I think as a single composition, this image unfortunately does not work. If only I could have paused before packing up and realized that this was the case. Okay, I lied. I need to shoot some. I need to shoot some 70 to 200 here. Okay, I'm not done. I can't be done. There's too much, too much to shoot. Sorry, Joe. But if my wife's watching, she'll be relieved to know she's not the only one who's constantly waiting on me. So at least there's that. Okay, so this second composition 
I'm just focusing on this leading line with the three rocks. That's what really drew me to the image. So I want to make sure I just shoot that because although the butte itself is gorgeous and the light is really amazing, this is the primary subject for me. So I want to make sure I have a composition that highlights that as well. And then I'm also going to do one quick shot of the midsection where there's just a ton of texture and contrast. It's really going to be more of an abstract shot. So I'm just going to knock that out quickly. And then I'm going to make it back to the truck in minus 19 minutes. Okay, that is going to do it. The sun is dropping a little bit too low anyway. And I think the more it drops, we're going to lose these highlights. So at this point, the best of the light is already behind us. So now it's time for me to go get back to the truck as quickly as I can. Hopefully Joe's still willing to talk to me. And then we will find a sunset composition and an astro composition. And if we do, That'll be in the next video, so make sure to check it out. Otherwise, if this image doesn't suck, here it is now. In my opinion, this is a much stronger image than the previous version. You have the subject, which are these three boulders, centered on the image, and these leading lines converge in between all of the boulders, really drawing you into the subject and focusing your eye on the center of the image. Additionally, as we were about 10 minutes later in the day, the sun had dropped even lower on the horizon, giving us even longer, deeper shadows and much warmer light, which I think really complement this image well. However, it ended up being the second composition that I liked even more, which is a surprise because previously I saw it just as a distraction in the overall image. On its own, I think it's a very compelling image. You had this nice wedge of warm light leading you through the scene, complemented by these boulders, which are really the center component of the image. And now that it's on its own and separate from the previous image, I think that your eye is drawn to these boulders in the center. Although I will say that these cool ridges to the outside of the frame also carry a lot of interest. And I think that this is an image that would look great printed large on the wall. Overall, these two images didn't work together as one image, but I do think they complement each other very well as separate images. All right, well, that's going to do it for me this week. I really hope that you enjoyed these images. I have to say this is probably the most fun I've had in the field in quite some time. So I'm excited to see the images and I'm very happy with what I came away with. But that's going to do it for me this week. I hope that you enjoyed this video and we'll come back for more. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Now get out there and make some images.